Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Supreme Ruler Ultimate episode number 34. Um, I I think we're going to be okay with this invasion at first because I've done a little more prepping, I've done a little more of like pooling of resources. Um, I'm going to get this straddle tanker to move right back across the ocean and pick up a few more that we now have ready to go in Inglewood. So these three will move and prepare for transport across. <clears throat> and we have one right here which is loading up. If I just advance a little bit forward, that guy will load in and he'll be ready to make the journey across. Um, I don't think <clears throat> we're going to be moving any other forces forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, mainly I want, the thing I want the most is for more M103s to join. That's like the, I would say the most important thing is to get some armor up front. The Green Braves are going to handle themselves very well, but the armor, I mean, it's just something special, right? The M103s are just very high performing units and they're very mobile. <clears throat> now remember, all we need to do is connect this road to this little outcrop, but that's still not an easy thing because as soon as we do this, it's just all hell is going to break loose. Now to that, I'm actually going to deploy two of the Rangers here are going to fit into this tactical, which is, I mean, this, um, the air transport. That's also going to be evolved in our, our whole operation. And what furthermore, I saw, I saw that there's this one tank, which is just not really doing anything yet. I'm going to move them all the way back down. And I'm also going to move these units here, which are some pretty veteran Shermans, uh, the Easy 8s These are also going to deploy to the very southern tip of Seoul, I mean of Korea. And those are all going to be transported across. And why is that? Well, I feel like we've gotten a pretty good handle on things. And basically, the as we push past this inlet, this um, sea inlet, um, we're getting to the point where it's the, le the least amount of territory we actually have to defend. Because sure, I mean, the, if they decide to come through this area here, we're going to be in trouble. But if they're just using the roads, we only have to really defend at Fushin and Jingzhou and Jingqi uh, and Jinshao. I don't know how to say these names. I'm just I'm just gonna wing it based on whatever I'm have like a moderate guess might be correct, and we'll go with it. So we hold some kind of defensive line over here, and we've cut off most of the Chinese force like reinforcement path. Uh, I'm guessing they probably have access through Mongolia, because Mongolia doesn't like me. And there's probably some kind of movement treaty or whatever. But the uh, even the roads coming in from the Soviet Union are not that many. We just have basically Chichar, Chichihar here. Um, now, if we want to defend all the inlets, I don't think we need to defend this one, because they're going to be coming from Europe. So I, I guess that this is probably the main one, is a road down like this. So if we're able to defend like at this bridge, you know, hold on the east side of the, the big river, we should be okay. Um, I mean, we're going to be okay no matter what, because our forces are, are elite and we have bombing capabilities. But, but it, I mean, basically, if, we, if we're able to push as far as that, which I mean, that's kind of a, a big ask. We have to go through Harbin first. I mean, we have a lot of these cities up here. What are we going to do about them? Are we going to leave them? I think we're going to leave them, but should we? I don't know. Uh, anyway, so a lot of a lot of big questions. The big operation, uh, Sleeping Dragon. We're bypassing C uh, Southern Breeze. I like the name Southern Breeze. I really like Operation Southern Breeze. Um, Sleeping Dragon is a little more cliche, but uh, that was going to be to take Hanan and use that as the staging point. I feel like in the end that would just draw more forces down towards us, so what we're going to end up doing is <clears throat> pushing in a little bit with... Poss Actually, I don't think we even need to push in to like draw forces. Um, all the forces are already going to be drawn off. The so yeah, we're just going to move right in. We're just going to move right in. And we do have this uh, <laughs> constellation patrolling inside. This is not what I intended. So this guy's going to get new um, patrol orders. All right, so we're unpausing. I think that's everything we want. Basically, we need to unpause long enough to get all those units to move. OK, so here's three more units that can move back. <clears throat> I guess we only need one of them to move back, because I don't even know if we have anybody else lined up. 
And we'll keep uh, two of them there just for transport or something, I don't know. Yeah, so this guy, as soon as he gets loaded in... What? Is there, is there not enough room? There's 25. Oh! There's not enough room. Wait. Oh, he's in. <laughs> okay. There was just a duplicate entry there for a moment. But it's just a, a typo or whatever. A game-o, a bug. Just a duplicate entry, but it's been cleaned up. So that guy can move across. We have our three Green Berets here. And we have some other forces trickling in, mostly Green Berets, a few M103 Conquerors. They obviously move faster, so the ones that are moving this way, where? Oh, this guy's actually one of the units deploying all the way to the East Coast. Well, you know what, forget that. We'll requisition you for the West Coast. I do want to deploy some units into Europe, because if everything goes really, really pear-shaped and we do go to war with the Russians, we're going to want some presence over there. Um, yeah, I guess I'm a little bit nervous about doing this, but let's get going. I guess we're still probably sinking ships here. What the hell else? Oh my god, there's so many Russians there. Holy cow. There's more Russians that I actually, they pushed my units out. <laughs> my units actually had to split because there's so many Russian ships. Hmm. Yeah, but everything should be more or less quiet over here, and I'm, we can kind of see that it is. Uh, we'll move a little bit further forward, a little bit further forward. Get these rangers. Do we want to take that? Yeah, why not? <clears throat> so we'll get these guys to move forward to support that assault. Um, so we have this guy. He's a little bit wounded. I'll get this guy to go over here. These guys are a little wounded. Pull them back. Yeah, like here. These guys are not wounded. Um, yeah, we have qu <clears throat> quite a few forces. <clears throat> and again, this is the main route. I guess we will still push forward in this direction because this is one of the routes we want to secure. Don't really need to secure the line this way, but uh, we'll push some forces forward just to start taking territory. Like this small city. I guess we are going to take that. Okay. And uh, one other thing I did is off camera, I swapped out six. So one of the new guys who's actually, I mean, one of the repaired units which is in... oh, they already moved. So... wait a second. This, I did this wrong. Oh, yeah. The, these guys are not supposed to be here. So you guys are not supposed to be part of six. So I swapped out two of the units, or one of the units of six, for another unit that was in repair. So this is now control six. One of the things we could probably do is start adding the extra pace, uh, peacemakers to the groups with only six bombers, but they're being effective enough as it is, so it's not urgent. Looks like these guys are resupplying. Five is ready to go, so let's get them out and about. Oot and a boot. Where do we want to go? What should our next push be? Feeling pretty happy about the push in the south. I guess we could get them over here and just stage them, as we as we like to do. And really, the operation has to this this big operation has to begin soon. So let's go ahead and give the order that we should start approaching. Let's see what kind of stuff we have when we approach, and get you guys over here. We'll move uh, you a little bit closer. And you three will move in as well. And this is the important one, the Iowa's, who I think are going to be very effective at shore bombardment. I'm going to move everyone in. Actually, I don't know. I, I guess this is air cover, so we will move them in. But I was about to say, I don't think, whoa. Okay, well, there's a target right there. Go in. I th we might kill them where we are, but... Stay right here. Yeah, just stay, kill them where they are. Good. 
Good, good, good. Okay. Now let's, um... Okay, let's make sure we're all synced up here. Did those guys get across the ocean yet? I doubt it. I think it's going to be okay. By the way, we also had some Delta Darts coming in. Are they land yet? They're very close to landing. And these are some Escorts. Okay. These are... Some Essex. Um, not what I wanted. You guys could step in here for a resupply, though. I believe that there is supply. Not there. Oh, there actually is not. So never mind. Belay that order. There they are. Okay, so we have some approaching. That's good. So, still plenty of airdrop units ready to go. And plenty. I mean, the initial thing is should be a big victory for us. It should be. Should be. Okay, here we go. We have the ones up in Korea that will also get to move down. I mean, it's got to be a big thing, right? Got to just get everyone in here. Where is the air base? Here? Well, we'll fly him here. I'd like to keep him away as much as possible from the Chinese forces. Oh, I, every time I think that that's a Chinese unit, naval unit, but it's not. Oh, good. So this battle began. Looks like the Rangers are going to take it by themselves. Didn't even need the. Did not even need the assistance of the air aircraft, which are still there. Um. I think we also have to... I might just send these guys back for the moment. But back where? Where, where did you guys base from? I thought you guys were really close. Ah, here. So we'll send five back here. I think I'm going to take... So nine's ready. Eight. We're going to redeploy eight. Eight is going to be redeployed... Oh, that, that is an airbase there. I didn't even see it. Alright, 8 is going to go here. And probably I should move him to Hong Kong. In stages, though. We'll do it all on stages. You guys will move. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Perfect. So we can get those guys there. New alliance formed between New Zealand and Spain. That sounds good to me. You think their intelligence is on to something about us? With all their forces moving to Taiwan and shifting south? Probably. As soon as our... These guys have to move in. Okay. We're ready to begin the operation. Oh, we're not quite ready to begin the operation. Well, let's just give these guys some fun. awesome. Alright, let's see who we have ready to go then. This is a lot of troops. Okay, so one, two, three, four rangers. Five, six rangers. Seven rangers and three green berets. Seven rangers and six green berets. That's 13 units. I'm pretty confident in this. And we have as well another two Green Berets here. Alright, we're going to begin the operation as soon as 8 gets down here. <laughs> They're bombing stuff on their way down. Oh, we have another one. Okay, good. Where are you going? You're going here? Okay, that's fine. We should probably shift these guys forward. Is this the airbase? Yeah, it is. We'll shift these guys forward a little bit. Oh, that's why we're not going to shift them forward there because... That's going to be occupied in a moment. Actually, it's not really going to be occupied. Was it eight? What's their fuel situation? Fuel is so good, we'll just move them directly to Hong Kong. It's fine with me. Ah, <laughs> look at all these. <laughs> They're destroying them. <laughs> That's great. Ooh, 
Well, look at that catch. Well, you know what? We are going to get some units in position to destroy that. Yeah, where are you destined for? Oh, you're also heading here? Well, just head over here for now. So we have some stuff we want you to take care of there. You guys can go ahead and head into Taipei. I think we've cleared up most of the stuff we can find over here. Just randomly position some people. Mm, yeah, we'll put this submarine back over there. Just a good scouting point. More industrial goods from Ch uh, Germany, West Germany. Yeah, so it won't work there. Unfortunately. Oh, okay, cool. We can move these guys north and we can land here. Let's do this. So three will be here. All right, let's do it. Whew. And as soon as those guys are, are back at least. It's a, one of those times where we, it's almost like we should speed up a little bit. Make sure we're not losing too many units. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Look at this. Let's fight together. No incursions, though? I mean, I think the... <laughs> I think the Russians have learned. They decided to call it quits on their incursions. Um, five, six. That field is not that badly hurt. I think I will rebase here, and I think we'll even repair this one. Yeah, I think we will repair it. It's going to cost money, but having one airbase a little bit closer to the front is going to be nice. All right, so nine and eight are ready to go. Nine's position. Well, they can move a little bit farther forward, I guess, just to decrease the time a little bit. And let's start softening them up. Let's get nine to fly one one of her missions, just to soften up everything that's over here. And I guess that in Japan, those Delta Darts have now arrived. They have, oh my gosh, that's a lot of them. One, two, three, four. Woof, this is plenty. I'm so happy. Uh, where's a good base? I'll try to pick one that's not like totally destroyed like that one is. This one's in pretty bad shape. This one's not bad, actually. We'll get one over there. And one, two, three, four. We definitely want one in the south. Maybe that's what we'll send to Hong Kong. I think we will send one to Hong Kong. Oh, what the heck? What am I doing? They can't make it that far. <laughs> okay, so let's send the, this one just over here first. I think you can make it that far. Uh, one, two, three, four. You guys move to the southern area first, and then we'll skip you off. That's probably a good start, good enough start for now. We have three left over. We'll move these guys to, well, it's perfect, move them here. Do we have one left over that's not, didn't get taken? All right, that's fine, that's still a good number. These guys are actually just dead stop there. I don't really understand why. Let's move you down here. Merchant Marine, which is, yes, another M103. And where are you going? You're going, to... yes, fantastic, okay, good. Let's watch Nine as she makes her run in. Oh, she's destroying border units. I don't really care about that. It's not what, you, not, not what we signed you up to do, but that's it's still killing units is killing units. Let's get one bombing campaign from Fly Group 8 as well. Here's the big one. Nine is returning. 
And eight is making their move. They did nothing. Oh, maybe they were out of ammo. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't go into their territory, Mr. Albanian. I'm telling you it's for your own good. It's not gonna listen. Oh. <gasps> yes. Where are they? Ignore. There it is. Ah, just can't get there fast enough. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the situation in the north before I divert all attention to the south. I think we're ready. Let's get these guys over here as well. Move them over there. Uh, I'm gonna get these guys just on the road. We're all good here. Yeah, we're all good there. Yeah, I think we're all set. This is it, the big one. The big one. I want to fly this mission first. They're not that great at dive bombing, huh? Got them. All right. Well, I guess they're good enough. Ah, that's. Yeah, we actually took fire. <laughs> that was I, that was what we saw here. Flying over, the Russians actually attacked us. Again, if we weren't getting the better of all these trades, it would be something that, like, I think the United States in real life would have to address it because you can't just let your sovereignty be violated. Okay, well, this is it. I've been talking about it for like the last five minutes, but we're actually going to be able to commit now. Let's get the big forces to drop. All right, get everyone here just to unload. I think unload is the correct option. Here. I, I might even want to do this individually, but no, okay, we'll just do unload there and we'll see what happens. <clears throat> we'll get these guys to move here and then unload. And I just hope that they fly not like that. That's not what I really want, but no. Yeah, they're going like crazy. They're going through <laughs> freaking China. <laughs> okay, so we had a double breakthrough. Urban renewal and globalized education system. Now the globalized education system is really good because it gives us 5% research efficiency. And you'll notice that I actually had already queued up ahead of time the two of the technologies which we had started researching at some point. We only have one left that isn't on, you know, being researched, electronic warfare, but that's because uh, modern anti-sub warfare is a 1990 tech and it's gonna require 86 and 79 and all kinds of really, really far advanced techs. So because electronic warfare doesn't give us anything directly, I would call it a very low priority. So at some point, we might even start prioritizing some of these designs over um, electronic warfare. Like I'd really like to get the M103A2. It's not a tank we'll be using for a very long time, but we'll probably build you know, several of them. Okay, so this is the big thing. We gotta pay attention to what's going on here. No time to smell the roses. We're gonna deploy number nine immediately. <clears throat> Get them overhead. And we're gonna start moving our forces in. And this is our reserve. That's our defensive force to like watch what's going on to make sure we don't get like caught from behind or something. All right, so we're actually engaging that. It's interesting. Oh, we got a little pause spike. 
And oh yeah, that's right, we need these units to begin moving out. C transport to here. I hope that they just, do they just go we do that? Yeah, they do. Oh, well, I gotta watch the, the main event. All right, here comes the first of the landings and we'll get these guys to unload here as well. Here for extra support. There it is! Boots on the ground, we have boots on the ground. Moving in. We're moving in. Moving in. That was our breaching. Moving up. Air Force is activating now. Carrier based attacking Kamfa. More dropping. We have another group landed. Everything's going according to plan so far. We have nine coming in soon, I hope. We're deploying eight. Seven or eight. Okay, nine is halfway there. Midways you can move up just again defensive positions. See how much faster this th everything else is besides those strategy. All right, we've already taken Kamfa. This is fantastic. Okay, moving our naval forces, dogging them forward. We've taken Kam. We've taken Kamfa. We've taken. What is this? I can't even see the name. Hong Gai. Moving, moving, moving. Let's go, let's go. <clears throat> Alright. Let's get these guys. Uh, I think I can just do this and select air. These guys go to attack. Alright, here comes the bombers. Oh, perfect. And you guys will land. Just keep pushing on this road. Should have some others. Yep, here comes the other ones. Unload here. <clears throat> this is nine, right? Eight is coming in. Oh, it's just beautiful. Just overwhelming. Absolute fire superiority. Complete fire superiority. I do want to leave one ranger there, in fact, because. We do want, um, wait, you are going to unload here. Get these rangers. I do want one person guarding our flank. flank. Maybe even more, but oh my gosh, there's nothing left now. Alright, we're dropping forces everywhere. Territory lost, lack of supply. That's not good. I hope that, yeah, I think that's just the naval stuff, which is fine. <clears throat> kind of fine. Alright, the midway is now going to be tasked with holding this area right up here. Eight, which is still over target, just going to move over and take this stuff before it can counterattack. Perfect. Two. It's gonna move here. Get him, get him, get him! Got him! We got him! Alright. Wow, this episode is going extremely well. And our forces have just obliterated the defenses that we found on the shoreline. We're gonna keep pushing forward aggressively, but things look really good to start. Really good. <laughs> I mean, we're just taking everything. And I assume that we have some, we do, some Merchant Marine. What's their projected path? They're going to cut through. It's a little bit dangerous for me. I'm going to move them into the open waters. I also want to assign an escort, get somebody to escort these guys. <clears throat> we're, we know that we're pretty much okay because are these guys out, out of supply and stuff. No, they're not. Let's go up and destroy this counterattack. 
potential counterattack. Got him. Okay, we'll accept this. Wow, so this is just so successful. I'm going to get this ranger to double up on our defenses against the back road. Most of the forces are going to be moving forward, but we do want to hold Camp Fa well. Um, yeah, I think two. We might even want three. Do we have any other? Okay, I'm going to get one green beret to help out as the rear guard as well. Okay, that's good. I think that's sufficient. And... Nine, as soon as she resupplies, will be launched again. I think we had... Didn't we have somebody... Oh, good, we have three. That's right. Well, what's your range? 2400 is pretty good. Yeah, they're definitely in range. Okay, good, so we'll go ahead and move these guys over target. Give us give ourselves a slightly... Keep increasing the number of units... Move these guys forward here. Get the Green Berets to move forward here. You guys go ahead and take the ever, the like, ever under siege Haifong. <laughs> it's like Glenn has not gotten a break from warfare since time, I don't know, since forever ago. Time immemorial. Haifong taken again. Got three coming in, doing some damage. Ah, oh, we got that one unit entirely. That's fantastic. We can keep pushing over here. Let's get that other unit. Got that one. Fantastic. And we're just doing a lot of damage. Okay, this is good. Very good start to this thing. Very, very good start. These guys are catching up. We have another patrol. I think we will just go ahead and move over here so we can start escorting. But lots of, lots of help from the all the land units. The boats have really done a great job. Want you and you. But not you, 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 or you. I just want these three. Is that three selected? I think that's just three selected. Get you guys to group up again. Here. All right, that's amazing. It's just our Air Force is doing so much work, as we expected it would. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So we'll have to send our bombers against these things, and we'll have to use our... Speaking of bombers using against those things. And we'll have to use our uh, ships as much as we can against this anti-aircraft that's moving in. Thought I saw anti-aircraft moving in. All right, well, well, we don't need to leave any units in Haifong. There's no threat to it. Oh, man. It's going to be still tough to take land here. Let's see how we're doing up here. Still not much going on. In fact, the only thing that happened is, I guess, our territory is expanding. <laughs> Might even be the Koreans who are taking it for us at this point. Yeah, we're looking really good here, and what do we have? Do we have some units here? We do. Okay, these guys are going to see transport. So the reason why I'm being so aggressive about moving units south is because if it doesn't matter. Nothing matters unless we can cut off. I mean, I don't want to have to do all the hassle of... Um, taking China and dividing it, and, like you know, if... Uh, I don't know. If Thailand ends up taking parts of China, then it's going to be very difficult, right? To, like, maneuver the country into a whole unit afterwards. So, this is a high priority. Three holding there, four holding there. That's a pretty good start. We aren't going to need this many numbers eventually. We'll probably just have three holding here, four holding somewhere over here. Probably in the jungle. I guess we'll just start eking them out. I want to make sure that there's enough supply. There's no supply. This entire area is completely devoid of supply. Well, that's where our strato tankers come in. We're going to get two just fly air supply missions. Let's go ahead and fly your missions over there. <laughs> and anyway, I think at some point we had LSDs coming in as well. We can definitely supply. 
<clears throat> lots of submarines. Let's just get the whole group <clears throat> to move west. I don't know if we really need another carrier, but ah, whatever. I mean, doesn't hurt, right? What do we have here? Oh, two peacemaker, two peacemakers. Wow, that's great. I'm gonna move these guys into Taiwan just as a staging point, till I know where they should go. All right, good. So let's back to the task at hand. Just taking all kinds of stuff. As soon as we take anything, it's just immediate under immediate gunfire. <clears throat> Get in here and give a supply. Uh, they might not be moving because they're out of supply. <laughs> what? All right, now everyone can have supply. Supply for everyone. I don't know how many. Okay, they didn't take that many that much damage <laughs> we're doing a lot of damage still which is great unfortunately moving a little bit out of the range of our bombers but we do have other available units the carrier based ones ready to go okay we'll move in eight and nine this will be another push and how are we doing here these guys are coming in quick Really, really good to see that. Okay, three is ready to go as well. Hanoi. I mean, this is Hanoi we're about to take. You can definitely judge a mission's success based on <laughs> how quickly we're able to take the main capital, or the, the original main capital. These guys, we want them to move back up, actually. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Anybody who's left has the wherewithal. This is like a, the Trail of Tears when we get to, when we get done with them. Another territorial incursion. I'm afraid to say it's too late. <laughs> We're on to your tricks. Got them. <laughs> so we have this we have this whole system down pretty well now. We're destroying the Russian units, we're destroying the Chinese units, we're pushing in their territory. Wow, these guys carry a lot of bombs. Okay, keep pushing. This is where we want, we kind of do want, um, what are we going to hold? Where do we want to hold at? I guess we'll hold here. Yeah. Okay, so you guys, your job is actually to move all the way down there. <laughs> Even though it's quite far. Look at all these units. There's just <laughs> so many of them. And what's your fuel supply at? <laughs> You're not even halfway done. <laughs> it's so wonderful. This is why they're so fuel efficient. Inefficient, though. They just carry so much crap. Okay, we found the bad guys. So, sorry. Go up here. Go up here. Good. We're slowly moving. Alright, so the rangers are going to take this road. We want them to take that right there. That's the farthest point forward. Supplies starting to go. We're starting to get a little bit. That's really good news. Oh, look at this. Chinese ship behind us. I think we can sick our normal... Like, these guys. Stick them on that. And Little Rock as well. Yeah, good. Very good. <clears throat> Holy cow, this is fun. This is a blast. <laughs> I'm like grinning. 
And we have some more units down here. Okay, good. So let's get the land units to sea transport. I mean, we'll tell them to go here. They'll eventually go there. But for now, actually, what we want them to do is okay, let's get rid of the whoops. You guys are going to go to Haiphong. I think I'm gonna go distract that artillery, just make sure it doesn't pick on our... Alright, good. Good enough. I we just still have these guys flying. It's, it's just hilarious. <laughs> Let's go over and attack this again. How's 9 doing? 9 is back up to 100%. Okay, let's get him back out here because it looks like we're going to need some support in the north. Which we actually can get done from a multitude of different ways. I don't wor I'm not worried about losing these aircraft either, and even though against that anti-aircraft type I was a little worried, but mainly um, we can replace it. We basically can just replace them later. Wow, that is so devastatingly effective. That's just crazy effective. Oh my gosh, they're like a swarm of killer bees. We're taking the... Ah, oh, we're just taking everything. It's wonderful. The, the potency of the American, like, combined arms is so impressive in this moment. It's so incredibly impressive. Just the raw destruction that these units are wreaking upon all of our enemies. Hanoi is now captured. We're bombing that. These guys are probably best off going here. Is this a, a small river? Narrow river. Oh, so the deep rivers, you can actually move units up. But this is not one of those. Okay, that is a lot of merchant marines. Wow, this is amazing. We're going to have all those units soon in our... Uh, supporting so I'm gonna cycle I think my like all of these units are not necessary anymore so we can move them let's go to the Philippines perhaps yeah just move to here so they're they're not really needed um, I'm gonna move these guys forward and actually what I'm gonna do is cycle yeah these guys as well move here except for you will also move to the Philippines the Philippines might even be a better approach angle I might need to move all my units that way so there's those guys getting involved and you guys are actually I want you to be ooh I want you to be involved up here then <clears throat> and wow, it's just so much it's just carnage everywhere we're pushing on Hanoi. Okay, good. So, take Hanoi. Take that. You guys know your objective. And you're pushing for it. Yeah, it's that. We can use these aircraft whenever we need. They're going to get into position correctly, though. Oh, look at this. So, uh, they're contesting the skies. Not on my watch, good sir. Not on my watch. That was beautiful. Anti-aircraft or not, we'll kill them all. Or we're going to lose some aircraft in this. Ah, that is a lot of anti-aircraft. I think we're losing some. Again, they are replaceable, but... Okay, this is our first... Casualty in a long time. Oh, wow, we might have gotten a little bit ahead of ourselves here. Nine is back up to this percent. Let's get those guys out. Three, hundred percent, get those guys out. And the whole group from the Coral Sea is going to deploy to help here. We've been called again. Second. We 
we get there in time? <laughs> it's like clockwork. We know that when they're coming over the border, we arrive there ahead of them, and then we kill them. So it looks like this is a good opportunity for us to move forward and take too high, just so we can cut off the river crossing there. I also think this looks like a good point to take Nongan. Where are we being attacked right now? I guess right here. So we'll push forward and try to take Heshan. Um, yeah. Oh, it looks like, yeah, there's a couple forces. I don't want to focus here. I'm going to get tunnel vision here, though. Mainly what I want to make sure I'm doing is uh, focusing enough on the south. Because this is the important one. And then we can push all we want in the north. But honestly, the north will probably be completely liberated by our efforts here. So really, if I was smart about this, I honestly would have to really fairly divide my attention. I think we're going to have to do it. So we want to push in the north with all this stuff happening because there's not going to be any units to defend you to the front as well. Looks like we've taken this. It's fantastic. These guys can make their move further down, really. Okay, and that this group, they can keep pushing that line. And I, I know that we have eight or nine coming in. Oh, they've arrived. Good. That's a lot of forces. Taking another city. And that's the one we're going to hold in? No, this is the one we're going to hold in. Okay, let's rotate these two out and get another two in. Uh, yeah, I think this is actually going to be better for us. Get another two in for now. <laughs> we lost territory, look at that. But look at this! We also gained territory. I mean, we, we've landed our... our Freaking tanks. I don't even know how to speak English. I'm so excited. <clears throat> oh gosh. And it's just, cr wow, it's crazy how aggressive but successful this aggressive push has been. Incredibly, incredibly successful. These guys are trying to take Hanoi, but we—I mean, we've—we've we've actually done it. Taking like all this territory. Holy cow, man! It's just incredible. Man, the carnage. And eight's ready to go, so we'll just fly them right back out. Take the take the city here. Three, we can send over here. Just you know, go after whoever you want, really. Oh my gosh, this is so effective. Okay, so this has been... I, I, I know I'm saying it a lot, a lot, way too much, but this has really been successful. Let's go to help over here. Okay, get this group to shut down those. There it is. Just utter chaos. That was very effective. They're very weak. I might try to follow up attack before they can get healed. Yes, good call. Not always, but that in that case it was a good call. Okay, where is the territory? Oh, yeah. Well, it's pretty visible, isn't it? Go plug the hole. And... Yeah, you come back this way. Let's get one of these up there to give them supply. Campfire, did we lose the unit here? There was... I thought there was more than that. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, look at this. So, Thailand's actually making this push now. Which we're almost okay to link up with. 
As soon as we have this road very, very, very well secured, I mean, obviously this itself territory is all Vietnamese. So this will be a different country which is released. It'll be released as friendly. So I don't know how to even do that, frankly. But, oh well, we'll worry about that when the time comes. For now, it's just good to know that yeah, we'll move this tank forward because it's not going to be needed out over here. Um, we need these guys to move this way, actually, because we don't really care about holding this territory. We'll get two Green Berets to go up there and do that. Honestly, I'm going to get one Green Beret just to go over and hold that. Let's get the M103s over to Hanoi. Oh, the aircraft did not stand a chance. Oh man, it's this this is crazy. This was one crazy episode. The non-stop action from the from the get-go. Hmm. All of these guys can move forward. Uh, everyone back in uh, in Korea, all the Air Force back in Korea have been given a big break, but we're gonna put a quick end to that, get them all active again. And we are taking tax from... what? Oh, wow. Korean tank. It's a Pershing, I think. Let's go help him. <gasps> what? Mongolian cavalry? That's uh, not going to go well against M103s. And really, it's time that we wrap this episode up, but we've reestablished supply. I mean, this is... Look, things have gone exceptionally well, and I don't think that anybody can argue with that. Um, I think that once this is taken, we exert all of our pressure back up in the north. I just sea landed all these... Or I don't, Did I already... Yeah, I did. I moved all these units down to the south. I don't even think that they're going to be needed. We pushed so successfully here... All we need is to link up, but I mean, we have to hold this. We have to slowly trickle supply in. Yeah, we'll probably have to just do some, like, these kind of defenses is what we're going to need to do. Um, I think for that, we're going to want to get, like, two artillery up here and two artillery behind this one. Just so we can help hold those lines and probably even tank deploying in that direction. But we'll probably first let the tanks um, be the ones to secure this area. And really the Green Berets at this point are going to be just units that help. Wait, did we... Did we bring in the one from the west coast? That one must have already come in and dropped. I mean, we do have a lot of Green Berets over there. So the one thing we could do is load... We can load these three up into that. And this guy can come back, and he will be able to drop as well. That's nice. <clears throat> I think that might be the closest air base. Yeah, it's about the same. So we'll do it. Is this Henderson Airfield? Um. Well, wait, what was it called? Not Henderson. It was it's something like Henderson. Is it Henderson? No, it's not. It's Henderson's Guadalcanal. Anyway, anyways, I'm going to wrap it up here because 53 minutes, I mean, this is one hell of an episode. So, really successful push in the south. We're going to continue with that push in the next episode. Hopefully secure the area we want so that all of China is ours. And then um, we can actually help link up with Thailand as much as we want. At that point, when as soon as they enter our territory, their push becomes our push. It becomes our territory which is taken. So that's a really good thing. So for now, thanks for watching, and until the next episode... Take care.